David, I, I need to explain a couple of things. Um, what would be the main one, do you think? Rachel and I were engaged, but I called it off before I moved here. Okay, you know what? You don't need to explain yourself. I think, I think that I do. No, I know you do, that's just what I'm supposed to be saying in the moment, so please continue. Okay, um... We got together when we were in high school, and we, we've been on and off ever since. And, uh, I don't know, we always just sort of fell back into it. Anyway, she's been uh, reaching out and expecting us to get back together for the past few months. Mm, whoa. Over the past few months? And you didn't think to tell me about this? You stood in front of me and told me to trust people. I know. When I was perfectly fine not trusting people. Not trusting people is what I'm used to. It is my comfort zone. But next thing I know, there's an oversized cookie on my doorstep, and you are telling me that I have nothing to worry about. I didn't want it to affect what we have, okay? And I mean it when I tell you that you have nothing to worry about. Because no matter how hard I tried with her, it just never felt right. And up until recently, I didn't understand why. David, I've spent most of my life not knowing what right was supposed to feel like, and then I met you, and everything changed. You make me feel right, David. That is quite possibly one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard anyone say, um, outside of the Downton Christmas special. It's the truth. I know. Um, it's just that my truth is that I am damaged goods, and this has really messed things up for me. And I think I need some time with it. 